my name is Barbara Hero, and um, I am the inventor of the Pythagorean Landoma harmonic keyboard. I owe uh, its manufacturing and its engineering to uh, several different people. The main person is Robert Fulcron, the uh, and Dick Lord. Uh, then uh, the manufacturer, Paul Mikovich, and his team. And it's uh, the culmination of many years of research into this Pythagorean system that Pythagoras developed back in 500 BC. And it's now come to fruition in the 21st century. This is the, the matrix that you are seeing on the screen. It's based on ratios. Most people don't realize that the ratios are one of the most important facets in music theory for pure harmonics. And when you actually have a, a ratio which is a three to two, four to five, whatever, uh, you actually are dealing with space and time. Because a ratio involves both frequency and wavelength. I'm gonna show you some of the, um, how you can actually create shapes from sounds. Now when I play this, I'll also show you when we can go into what I call the um, first quadrant. And this is an arpeggio. And that's the overtone series. These are the shapes actually of the wavelength, and they can—they're really geometric shapes. Here's another one. These are all chords, as you can see, they're very simple chords, and they create the shapes that you're seeing. This is actually the type of instrument that can be used uh, to synchronize both shape and sound. It would be wonderful for children to learn mathematics, to learn ratios in schools, to learn colors. We color code um, the, uh, each frequency, each sound, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, in different color coding. Uh, in Pythagoras' time, he used uh, red as C, orange as D, yellow as E, green as F, blue as G, A as indigo, and B as violet. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is the complementary color, where C is green and D is blue-green, and E is blue, and F is violet, G is a magenta, A is orange, and B is yellow. Now we'll go into another quadrant. I use these as therapy. I use the Landoma keyboard as therapy. There are many people who are now using them as uh, for music composition and others who are using them as therapy. One woman is working in Hawaii with dolphins and is able to actually create this, Im imitate really the sounds of dolphins. I'll show you how that would be.
to quite high frequencies. Now plants are very different. There is a woman who has a little farm in Utah who is using the third quadrant to grow lettuce, make compost piles um, mature faster. And this is how this sounds. There are many different ways to use the uh, Landoma keyboard. It's really, um, it's a sort of magical, mystical experience because you have a tactile feel when you can feel the uh, shapes, the, uh, the colors. And since it's all electronic, our bodies are made of electricity and uh, we're really part of the whole electric system and um, the tactile using your fingers which are very very similar to um, well they're the most sensitive I think almost part of our bodies and we with hands I think they we differentiate ourselves from animals somehow um, and the other things that I can tell you, there's very much to, to learn about um, sound, about color, and about emotions when um, one is really working with pure harmonic sounds. The only thing that I can say is if you just play as though you're a child. I often say when I give my lectures, um, pretend that you're a, in kindergarten in Atlantis or Memoria and you just discovered this ability to uh, see colors, hear sounds, see shapes, uh, and you're in a sort of a wonder and then you will spend your logical brain will be so intrigued by the uh, mathematical beauty that uh, this wonderful creative part of your mind will just uh, hold forth.